Hey, Cable Hawks, when it's happy hour and you only have two hands, how do you get out the screen door? Well, you use your Lippert screen assist. And look at that. No need to free up a hand to get out the door with the Lippert screen assist. Missy, Missy dropped her lime. She's on a roll. <laughs> We're gonna show you how to install the Lippert Screen Assist. Here we go. I'm Missy. I'm Mike. And we're the Campaholics. All right, inside your screen assist box, you have the uh, bar and your parts and hardware. The two end caps, end pieces, the actual screen assist piece. Now you'll have parts left over. If you just want to use this as a grab bar or a push bar, there's going to be parts left over. If you want to use this as the actual lever action of the doorknob, again, there may be some parts left over. But we're actually going to use this as a screen assist where we hit the door, the bar, and actually it works the lever of the door and opens the door for us. So we're gonna go ahead and mount this. Well, these are your parts that come in the kit and let's get to it. All right, so our first step is to remove this cap and expose a screw inside of there, which is right here. So you remove the screw. All right, when you remove the outer, or in this case, the inner, knob you're going to keep the outer knob in place you're going to put the one that came with the kit in it will have a cant an upward cant to it it's a little like shorter and fatter <laughs> like us <laughs> you're going to use the, the original screw and you're going to reinsert that and there's your new handle and you're going to take your new cover and reinstall that just pushing it in all right you're going to take your screen assist parts this is the non lever side you're going to snap it in here and just like that this works the action this acts as the hinge for the screen assist all right when mounting this you want this corner as you come in here the camera this corner to be flush with this crossbar going across so you'll mark your spot here and mark a spot there if you need to do a little uh, pilot hole but you're going to mount it on this frame right here of the screen door all right i have found that the best way it comes with self-tapping screws which you can try to do this with self-tapping screws but i found that a pilot hole works great I use a 7 ths bit. And don't be like me. Don't drill metal without safety glasses. So this is square head bit. And I found this is the easier way because we've done these with the Camco versions of the screen door grabs. So I like to mount one side. It just makes it easier for me. You can back the screw out and then put it back in. So again, a pilot hole, 764th bit. Cover your eyes because you're throwing metal. Unless you have safety glasses on, which I don't. You're using your square bit again self-tapping screws so you got that side mounted and it's easier to negotiate it for me doing it this way and getting the right adjustment for the bar getting the right measurement for the bar so this is pretty much going to be a, a, a semi guessing game but you want to leave enough there's holes on the back of here 
won't leave enough to tap into that bar area. So you want to mark this. You should do it with a pencil. Okay, I'll get it. Oh, you want to get a pencil? Yeah, I'll get a pencil. Okay. Here. Instead of in the blue Sharpie. The well, I got the blue Sharpie for the other thing. All right, this, again, this is the easiest way I've found to do this without having to get involved with a lot of measuring. <laughs> I find, I kind of find a midway point right there and I mark it. You want to make sure this is tight against your lever, your door lever. And you're going to mark it right there. And you're going to mark it right here. And we're going to take this back off and then we're going to put our screws in. So, you take this off. You got your marks on where it goes. Like that. You didn't need to take both screws off. And this is with the part where you line this up right here. Like that. And you're going to put your screw in the back of that. There's no room for error. So they say. So they say. Wait a minute. That line is different than that one. Okay. Uh, All right. Okay. 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 Sorry, I'm trying to help. Not allowed to help. I'm just supposed to hold the camera and shut up. All right, so you got your line marked right there. You're going to drill your pilot hole again to make it a little easier to negotiate. So nothing slips. Again, you don't have to drill a pilot hole. These are self tapping screws. I just choose to do the pilot hole to assist with mounting the screws. All the screws are the same length, so there's no issue there. And she drew it right tight, that's good. Coming over here, getting this side. Again, we got my line there. You should try doing it without a hole and see what it, did, if it makes a difference. All right, we'll do that for Missy. Just to see if, it, if anybody cares, if anybody, okay. you see the all difference. All right, all right. So they can Just, see if it's a wasted mm -hmm. step or not. Listen. I'm allowed to have an opinion. Right. Yeah, just hope it doesn't slip on you. And it did. See that? It slipped. So, without drilling a pot, if you don't drill a pot hole, you run the risk of this sliding. And it did. I'm not on my mark. We'll see if that makes a difference. Put that in there. In there we're nice and tight it worked out so this is how you mount your screen assist again it'd be a lot easier doing it from the inside but however due to lighting and having a lot of work area to film this video this is how I decided to do it on the outside but again it's easier if you just mount this one or two screws have this mounted in place so it's not moving on you fighting it and make your marks and go from there and so really, it's not permanent. If you want to just pop this end out and take it off, you really could, right? Yeah. You, yeah, so yeah. like if you decide you don't want it on the, the bar on for some reason. Yeah, you can take it off, just pop it off. Yeah, like if it's, if you're don't But want over it. time, I'm sure you wear it out. But, yeah. you, but you still have another part. Yeah, so if, if you don't want your kid to be able to get out or I don't know, maybe there could be a reason. Yep, so again, you can use this as a screen door assist, get in and out or you can use it as just a grab bar like we have up here and that's how you do it. All right, Camp Hawk, so we showed you how to install the Lipper Screen Assist. This complements the other Lipper products such as a screenshot that automatically closes the door and the Lipper Screen Defender that keeps the pets inside and not coming through your door. The Screen Assist, again, will has a lever action to it and it complements your RV and it goes up to Anywhere from 26 to 30 inches wide, the screen shot shuts the door for you, and screen defender doesn't let your pet get through. So you can find these Lipper products on the links below. We'll put links below to these Lipper door products. It only works with Lipper doors, screen doors. Subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications. We'll put links below to all these fine Lipper products. Again, we are Lipper brand ambassadors. We're proud to show you these Lipper components, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.